In this video, I'm going to explain how to write code for Adelphi Objects methods. In the previous video, we added the line to the lines property of a rich edit. I told you that we will look at this statement again in this tutorial. Here we have a similar statement. This statement takes the value displaying contact information and adds it to the lines property of a rich edit named RED output. In this case, RED output is an object. But the lines property of a rich edit is also an object that contains zero or more lines of strings or text. So in this context, the lines property of the rich edit will be our object. Just like with a property, an object's name must be followed by a dot if you want to program its methods. After you type a dot, Delphi normally presents a list of properties and methods related to that object. You must then select or type the name of the method after the dot. In this example, we selected the add method. When programming a method in Delphi code, we refer to it as calling the object's method. So in this statement, we are calling the add method of the lines property. Later in this video, we will look at a few other methods. But what I want to point out now is that a method's name is normally a verb. Like add, or show, or set focus. That is because a verb makes it sound like the object is performing a task or doing some kind of work. That makes Delphi code more readable and easy to understand. These tasks or methods are predefined pieces of executable code that the creators of Delphi built into the components. That means that methods already contain a bunch of code, but you do not have to write that code yourself. You only have to know how to call the methods to execute that code. The code that is predefined by the creators of Delphi is encapsulated in functions or procedures. You don't see that code, but it is not necessary for you to see it. You must just use the functions or procedures by calling the methods of the object. You can then end the statement with a semicolon. However, some methods require more information to do their work. The add method there on the screen is an example of a method that requires more information. A method that needs more information is followed by an opening and closing bracket. Let's look at the add method in more detail. We must tell the add method what the contents of the line must be. We do that by providing the content as input between the two brackets. In this example, we take the phrase displaying information and we provide that as the input to the add method. We refer to this as passing an argument to the input parameter of the add method. The string argument that we pass may also be an expression. An example of that is when we concatenate or join another value to the string. Here, I'm concatenating the text in an edit called edt first name to the string. If the text in the edit is my name, Delphi will join my name to the rest of the phrase to read, displaying information for Gerard. That whole concatenated string will then be passed as an argument to the input parameter of the add method. Ok, so now you have learned that some of the method calls require one or more input values. And like all of the Delphi instructions, we terminate the statement with a semicolon. Now, with all this in mind, let's also look at some other handy methods in Delphi. You learned about the add method now. Here's the statement again to add the phrase, contact information to the lines property of a rich edit called RED output. A memo object also has a lines property and you also add the string to the lines property. This statement takes the phrase I love programming and adds it to the lines property of a memo object named MEM info. A list box object has an items property. Like the lines for memos and rich edits, you also add the string to the items property of a list box. This statement takes the phrase I live in Pretoria and adds it to the items property of a list box object named LST display. Now let me show you an interesting thing. The lines property in both these statements are plurals. And the items property here is also a plural. That is because they contain more than one line or more than one item. We refer to this as a collection of lines and a collection of items. Most collections do not use properties or assignment operators to set them. Most collections have an add method to populate the lines or items. With caption and text properties it is different. A caption or text property is a singular value. In other words, they do not contain a collection of values. 
To populate a caption or text property with content, we use an assignment operator to assign the value. Another method that you may use often is the clear method. We use the clear method to remove contents from some of our objects. You don't have to specify what you want to clear. The clear method removes all the content. Because you do not specify what must be cleared, you do not have an input parameter for the clear method. This statement clears all the content from a rich edit named RED output. Note that we don't have brackets and we don't have an input value. This statement clears a memo named MEM info. And this statement clears a list box named LST display. You can also remove the text from an edit using the clear method. This statement clears the text from an edit named EDT say hello. Objects that have caption properties do not have clear methods. To clear a caption property, we assign an empty string to the caption property. An empty string is two inverted commas without a space between them. The next method we will look at is the show method. The show method also doesn't have input values. This statement shows a form named FRM another. And this statement shows a rich edit named RED output. The opposite of show is the hide method. The hide method also doesn't have input values. This statement hides the form named frm another. And this statement hides a rich edit named red output. The set focus method shifts the focus to an object, or it places the cursor inside an edit. Set focus also doesn't have input values. This statement puts the cursor inside an edit named edt first name with the set focus method. And this statement sets the focus on a button named btn display. These are just some of the methods available for Delphi objects. If we look at the names of the methods like add, clear, show, hide, set focus, we can hear that the names refer to tasks that are performed. And therefore they are all verbs. In the next video, we will continue with our contact information project. I will demonstrate some of the methods that you've seen here in the next tutorial. I'll talk to you again in the next video.